Aloha from Tesla Gaijin. This is episode two. And uh, I'll tell you someday about my uh, the aloha part of me. Anyway, um, my car is coming real soon. And uh, I'm really getting excited about it. I'm expecting it to be here by September 30th. And uh, Tesla sent me a package telling me the stuff that I had to do. And uh, read it carefully uh, because some of the things you don't have to do, some of the things you do. Uh, we went ahead and did a couple things we didn't have to do, but anyway, find out from them what they uh, what you need to do. Uh, when you buy a Tesla, uh, you even though you might go to the store or uh, you know talk with a, a real person, generally speaking, the actual purchase uh, is done online. It's like uh, going to Amazon and saying you know click this and boom there you go. So that's how we made the initial order. And uh, then you have to, as time gets closer to the delivery of your car, you have to decide how you're going to pay for it. Tesla has a loan program. I've heard it's reasonably good. Or you can pay in cash. And um, in our case, we took out a private loan and then we paid in cash when we got the final bill. Uh, now, there was a trade-in situation also available, but uh, the guy we talked to said, don't even bother with our trade-in. They just send it off to a broker who takes a big cut, and you'll be very unhappy. So we went to a company called Gulliver, and uh, they gave us a really good price on our Honda van, and they paid us promptly, and that's already done. And then they even gave us a, a loaner for two weeks while we're still waiting for the car to come. So um, we're very uh, happy with that situation. Next thing you have to figure out about a Tesla is what you're going to do with charging. Now, of course, most people know uh, Teslas go to uh, you go to a supercharger station and it's really fast and you go from 20% to 80% in less than an hour or something like that. And that's very, very cool. Um, you get some points when you uh, buy the car you have with a referral code and you can get more uh, points in certain ways. But um, otherwise, you've got to pay. Now, the prices aren't outrageously high, um, and electric vehicles are, are pretty good um, compared to uh, internal combustion engines. So, uh, we may, we, our card is already in their system. If I go to a supercharger, it'll know who I am and it'll pay for it, and then I'll get the bill. Uh, but there are also home charging situations that uh, you can consider too. Now, if you live in a condo or an apartment, condo or an apartment that doesn't have a wall outlet with a pretty good amount of amperage, you may have to ask uh, your management to do something about that for you. Uh, otherwise, a, a, just a regular, you know, electrical cord from a, you know, a little 15 amp, 115 volt is just not going to do it. So. Uh, I suggest you find some way to get a little bit more uh, amperage to your car. In my case, uh, I live in a place that uh, I have 40 amperes available and uh, also we have nighttime uh, discount on our electricity so that's going to work out for us. So when I bought the car, we were given this online coupon that says, do you want a wall charger solidly mounted to the wall or do you want a mobile charger which has adapter plugs that plug into a regular wall outlet or a um, dishwasher, uh, I'm sorry, washing machine outlet or electric stove outlet. And of course, the bigger the appliance, the more juice you're going to get to that charger and to your car. Uh, you might want, but you'd have to get that close enough to your car to charge. And so depending on your locality, you'll just have to figure that one out. Uh, there's a lot of information online that uh, gives you some ideas what to do about that. In my case, I'm, I'm getting a wall outlet and I'll install it myself. In fact, it's already arrived and um, I'm now figuring out where to install it and what to do with it and yeah, it'll be fun. Next is, uh, let's see, you need Wi-Fi. Um, these things, uh, Tesla's re uh, get information from uh, wherever their planet is and uh, that gets to your car over a Wi-Fi system, which they uh, strongly advise you to have a Wi-Fi uh, signal close to your car. In my case, we didn't have it, but I got an extender that went to the um, a wireless extender that went to the room above my car, and now I got a real strong signal. So 
make sure you have some kind of Wi-Fi avail availability to your car. Uh, let's see, what's next? Carpets. Um, mine is the least expensive car, so it doesn't have any carpets at all. Uh, he said they'll have the, the paper mats. Uh, well, that's uh, not going to do it. Now, they're all kind of aftermarket. Tesla has some, and for their higher-end models, they have carpets, but they're, they're still pretty wimpy, and even the ones they sell you, not that great. Uh, but there are all kinds of optional ones online, and you can get the rubber mats for if you ex expect to kind of use it hard and if you live in a really rainy area or something. Uh, in my case, I found a really nice uh, you know, carpet pile, and uh, they even my company even has a, a hybrid that I'm thinking possibly too. But anyway, uh, you're going to have to figure out something with carpets that make you happy and do the job that you need done. Uh, next thing is the center console. Uh, this is apparently an, a universal problem for Model 3s. They come, and also the Model Y, by the way, they come with this cheap old black plastic, shiny black plastic center console that, um, while I'm sure it's strong enough, it looks horrible. It is a fingerprint and, and scratch magnet. It seems like most people like to wrap it with some kind of design. If you have a white interior, they'll wrap it with white plastic or something like that. Um, get some nice stuff and install it well. Uh, don't don't let it, you know, yourself try to do it if you're not really capable. Uh, bubbles would look horrible. It's a nice car. Uh, put something nice. In my case, because the Model 3s have this wood strip along the dash, uh, I found a matching wood uh, cap for the center console. And uh, I'm waiting on that to get here. But uh, I think that to us, that's what, well, that's what my wife wanted. So that's where we are. Next is wheels. If you get the nicer cars, they also already have some nice wheels and even some nicer options. But my particular car uh, came with these kind of cheesy looking aero wheels, which are, <laughs> they're okay, but they look a little too aero efficient for me. Um, and they look plastic. So I found out that if you pull them off, there's some nice aluminum rims right underneath it. So uh those will come off unless i'm going on the freeway somewhere highway somewhere so at those times you need a bag to hold the caps those wheel caps uh, while you're not on the fry on the freeway so um they, they sell a bag that holds them uh, i already bought that as a gift from somebody so i'm gonna get uh, that is an, a must and then when you get those things off, you need a center cap and some lug nut covers or new lug nuts or something. So I'll show you what I do with that. Next is my wish list. Uh, this thing has, of course, lights all over the place, under the doors and in the footwells and the trunk and the front trunk, which is a frunk. Um, I suppose that in Britain, the front trunk or front boot is a fruit. But whatever, um, those things, the lights in them seem to be pretty wimpy by most people's uh, assessment. So I'm going to um, probably get some upgraded lights. I mean, after all, it's an electric car. You can probably uh, allow yourself a little bit extra juice for the lights. Uh, next thing is um, the roof is all glass all the way to the back. Uh, so they're if, you, if I'm going to be driving in hot sun someday, I suspect my wife is going to want to get one of these screens that pop up in there. Uh, we'll see how that works, um, and we'll see which one seems to be the best one. Uh, next, the car has cameras all around it, and they can go into what's called a sentry mode and record stuff, except there's no onboard medium at all, so you have to get a USB chip of some sort. Until my car comes, I don't know what the chip, what kind of plug it is. So when it comes, I'll go ahead and order one online. Uh, another one that I just kind of want is a, an electric front trunk opener, a fruit opener. Uh, it, you just go to your app on your telephone and boop, and the front opens up. I just think that's kind of cool. Um, I already found a place that uh, will get it to me in no time at all. So that's 
definitely one of the in things I have an interest for, and I'll tell you all about that. Some things I don't just don't know yet because Tesla has a a knack for just doing stuff and changing stuff. So until my car arrives, I really don't know a lot of the things. Of course, most of the major stuff has not been changed, but uh, they do tweak stuff. And so until it gets here, I won't know what to uh, what my little um, toys will be. Uh, finally, uh, if you want to uh, leave some comments down below, uh, I appreciate anything you have to say. Uh, if you have, if you want to know more about what it is to be a gaijin in Japan, some interesting things that you want to know, I'll do what I can to uh, show you. And also, if you want to know about Teslas from a, a non-maniac point of view, uh, I'll try to do my best to give you um, my experiences. So the car will be here in 10 days and I'll be able to answer any questions you have about what a third quarter 2020 Tesla Standard Range Plus is. Um, let's see. I think that's it. Oh yeah, one more thing. My guy wrote me a, a very cryptic email saying, on the 22nd of September, I might have some new information for you. Bye. So <laughs> I have no idea what that means. We will find out. Um, and I'll let you know. In the meantime, then, uh, see you later. Bye.